I was about to do this intro and then I saw first a pack of coyotes, second two bunny rabbits just bouncing super high. What is good YouTube? My name is George. If you didn't already know, the first thing that Nora and I did after graduating from Wesleyan University is we drove all the way from New York City all the way across the country and today we made it to California. It has been mind blowing, mind expanding, just absolutely incredible. We are stopping here in Joshua Tree, California. We're going to check out the National Park and this is our last stop before Los Angeles where we are going to spend a couple days. So this new season on my YouTube channel is going to be called Schools Out. Nice and simple, it's just I'm done with school and here is what comes next. We're gonna figure it out together. There's gonna be a lot of skateboarding, a lot of exploring, and it's my freaking first time being a real adult without any structure. So I am very, very excited to be starting this new journey officially as a YouTuber because this is now my job. Oh, and a bunch of people were kind of bummed that the senior year intro is not gonna be going on. So I reached out to my friend Nicole who actually made that intro and she is going to be making an intro for Schools Out, so yeah. this interesting ripple right here or you should see it on this camera it literally looks like a painting or like lava the next morning now we are really really in the desert here in Joshua Tree National Park and we are surrounded by death plants Cactuses. What are they called again? Chawa cactuses? It's pronounced Choya. Interesting. Can I tell them about the deserts? Sure. So there's the Mojave Desert and the Colorado Desert. And the Mojave Desert is the one that has all the Joshua trees. And then the Colorado Desert is lower elevation and that's the one that has these Chawa cactuses. And it's funny because they almost look like mini Joshua trees. Yeah. But it's because it's a different desert, so there's like different wildlife. There's a sign at the entrance of this path that, to paraphrase, it basically says, this cactus can kill you. It does not say that, but there's a first aid kit. So you can remove But yeah, I'm like, cactus from yourself. scared I'm gonna fall like right onto this thing. That would not be fun. <laughs> it's like so tempting to touch it. Do it. No. Yesterday in the Airbnb, we found out that Joshua Tree National Park has some of the best stargazing on the planet. So we're actually gonna see if there is an available campsite so we can camp here and hopefully I can catch my first glimpse of the Milky Way but we'll have to see. The longer we wait the less likely it is there will be a campsite because they're first come first serve. Good news we got a camping site. Something we're dealing with that we didn't deal with in the Rockies is a pretty intense wind factor and we don't want our whole tent to blow away. You'll we'll probably find a cactus and die. We're working it out. <laughs> so there's our tent site in Joshua Tree National Park. It's absolutely stunning. What hike is this? Uh, Highly recommend. It's so like beautiful and spooky. Hello, sir. Oh, he's scratching. Jesus. All right, we made it back to our campsite here and it's just absolutely stunning. It's starting to cool off. I'm, I'm so glad we decided to spend the night and we're gonna do some rock climbing real quick before we set up the campfire. Nora's already up there. You a little stuck? I'm completely stuck. Just keep going. What are you doing? Going Get out of the up? way before I leave.
The challenge is catching a log on fire, which I think I've accomplished. Campfire time, and it's freaking beautiful out. All right, Nora, we're gonna have to go camping a lot in our lives. Later. It got dark real quick here in the desert and you can actually already see some stars in the sky. I'm getting super excited to stargaze, hopefully see the Milky Way for the first time. I'm gonna try to take a picture of it because I've always wanted to do that and I finally have a DSLR camera so we'll see what we could do. Gonna enjoy these last few moments by the campfire, have a couple snacks and then go to sleep till about 12.30 which is when we will attempt to stargaze. Milky Way last night, it was incredible. You could walk right outside and there it was. It's actually been like a dream of mine for a very long time to capture my own photo of the Milky Way and I was able to get it done. Mostly thanks to this DSLR that I invested in because of YouTube. So I was thinking about how YouTube has let me find other creative things to do and just, I don't know, just how this trip has been. Us really live in life. Now we are just gassing up the car. We're gonna head to LA, which is our westernmost point on this entire road trip. So I'll see you guys in LA. Coffee. Yeah, oh yeah, holy sh Thank you guys for filming that feeble, I appreciate yeah, it. it. Shout out your name. Oh my god. Thanks, Cam, Cameron. We officially made it by car from New York City to Los Angeles. Seeing those street signs for LA when we were close by was just unreal. I cannot believe I'm here. And we're actually here for a couple days, finally get a little bit of a break. It's like my brain is expecting another 10 hour drive tomorrow, but I get to hang out, skate for a couple days. My friend Chris, who rides for Aero Skate Co, my clothing brand, happens to be in town too. So we're gonna get some clips together, which is really awesome. And I'm here at the El Sereno Skate Park and it is just incredible. Let me show you guys. What do you think of this park, Chris? Honestly, solid 10 out of 10. Was not expecting it to be this fun. You're a madman. Just a lovely session at the El Sereno skate park. I found the vibe there to be very friendly. I have to say, I think that is my favorite skate park I've been to in LA so far. I've only been to a few, Venice, Stoner, and one other one that I forgot the name of it, and I think that is my favorite so far. It looks like it's a very straightforward skate park, but it's actually got a nice flow to it. You can totally go around and around, and that's my favorite quality in the skate park.
So last day in LA, I just had to come and check out the Westchester Plaza. Amazing park. It's funny how every park that you see so often in videos, when you finally come there for the first time, it's never exactly what you had in your mind. And this one, it's like, it's way more compact and smaller than I expected, but still such an amazing park. It is like literally only street, which is not what I've been skating lately. So I did get to revitalize that aspect of my skateboarding and was able to get a few on the broken board. So pretty hyped on those. And I think snapping that board is the perfect end to this vlog. Tomorrow we continue our road trip up north. We're going to Big Sur, Redwoods, and then Bend, Oregon. So I'll catch up with you guys in the next video. What is good YouTube? My name is George. I wonder if it's too windy. I think it's too windy. almost got lost and died. It's starting to cool off. It's starting to cool off.